Hello, this is Winston Smith reminding you to click the like button and subscribe along with the notification bell for when we upload videos. Thank you. What's up, YouTube? This is Winston Smith uh, back again with another commentary. Uh, today I want to comment about Patrick Patterson. He plays for the LA Clippers. And um, he basically is six foot nine, uh, makes around $3 million a year. Uh, so he basically was uh, a year ago was on Twitter. And a fan asked him, why is it all y'all basketball players and football players get a little bit of money and go get yourself a white girl? What's up with that? And then he responded to the man that was in the Twitter post. The man in the Twitter post said that he would have no chance with his blonde-haired, blue-eyed white wife if he didn't play in the league. And so I should settle for a bulldog and act like I am happy with my life and preach keep it in your race. That was his, uh, that was his quote. Uh, that he responded to the fan on Twitter. He also added, that might be okay for your life, but I don't want that for mine or my family. Color doesn't ma matter. Wake up. You see the way how he, how he wrote it? A uh, bulldog? I'm like, why would you basically look at, uh, why would you put, why would you phrase, why would you compare a woman to a bulldog? A bulldog is a big, stocky, uh, big-headed, aggressive animal, which how you would think. They really look aggressive, right? They're really low down to the ground. They have wide jaws. They're big. They have wide shoulders, right? Part of the black race itself, which is a real original race, um, they say that the men have more muscular build, right? The women, Serena Williams, all this other stuff. Okay, you cannot find an athlete that looks like Serena Williams unless it's a black woman. You can't find an Asian woman or a white woman that basically looks like Serena Natural. I, you know what I mean? Without no surgery, that's winning that many titles. That means that's all functional. All the, all the tits and ass is functional because she's like the number one tennis um, athlete in this er era. So there's certain things that's genetic. But you see his mindset? The big stocky bulldog with the wide shoulders, aggressive. Uh, so that he thinks like that already. So of course she's gonna go out there and, and get a white woman. This is not the norm, okay? Majority of people stick within their race. As I, sh I showed you before with the Lonnie Love um, video, there were statistics up there that shows that black men are most like, more likely than black women to go outside their race. You know what I mean? But majority of people that they do go outside their race, they don't call their mamas and their sisters bulldogs. So even in the other quote, you can say, if that's okay for your life, that means when he got that uh, NBA money, he had a picture of how his life is supposed to be because he's just one of those guys that figure, I have money, then I want to move up in a social status, in a social ladder. So that's, he's one of those guys. I'm sorry to say it. Apologize on behalf of all black men. He's just one of those guys. I'm sorry. You see, but, but his mindset is already set. You, you understand? Majority of these guys... If they didn't have the money, they wouldn't get the woman that they wanted anyhow. But then now they have the money, now they're going to get the woman that they always wanted. You see, because of, because of social programming, now they have the money, now they're going to get the woman that they always wanted. The Lisa Bonet, you know what I mean? Uh, the, uh, from, you know, Lisa Bonet from the Huxables. Uh, Vanessa from the Huxables. So they're going to get the woman that they've been programmed to want from a young child, so they, see, as soon as they get that multi-million dollar contract, they have an image in their mind of what their wife is going to look like, what their house is going to look like, or what their perfect life is going to look like, and that's what they move towards. So if anybody has anything to say that's basically contrary towards that, he's going to really come down on them. You have to think to yourself, he really has this to his heart, because you're not Kawhi Leonard, you're not a major person on the team, you know. So, you know what I mean, so what, you're just a regular, you're just a placeholder. That's it. Why should you take such a huge, you know what I mean, just ignore him and keep him moving? Because he's held on to this for years, and now he has his money. Now he's seen it actualized. He has his white wife with the blonde hair, and someone's calling out, calling him out on it. He's not going to like that. A hit dog will holler. So obviously, this is, some, this is a colorist mindset that he has. By the words that he tried to use and the words that he thought to use, you can tell. And people like this are the minority even amongst men that date out, this is the minority, okay? So what do you think? Is he a colorist?